Alright, let's do WD8 with mixed rarities. So the main crux of your entire squad is going to be a healing defender. I'm using Gummy here. Skill level 7. As long as you have any defender who has auto healing capabilities, you should be fine. Alright, so you may have noticed that the squad composition and even the deployment order is very similar to another video out there, because it is. It is based on Kyostin V's guide for WD8 low end squad, and many thanks to him for that guide because that is what I used to pass this level. But I wanted to farm it, and I found that the auto deploy with that guide wasn't very reliable. So I made a few tweaks here and there, so I've been able to farm it at a 90-95% to success rate. So as you can see, all the archetypes are exactly the same. I'm also using a ranged guard, in this case instead of Midnight. I'm using Silver Daddy, because I have him. And instead of Lampla, you'll see I use Astasia instead. So everything is substitutable, but we'll go into some of the major tweaks later on. If you want details about why we're using specific archetypes and the deployment and timing, highly recommend checking out Kyostin V's original WD low-end guide. We'll go into more details about why we're using specific characters and more details about the mechanics of the boss itself. And you will find a link to his guide in the description. So I wanted to explain the logic behind the tweet that I made, and it all has to do with the mechanics of one of the enemies in the stage, the Imperial Strip, and you'll find two of them at the very top lane right now. For the Imperial Striker, once their HP is reduced below half, their attack is substantially increased, and what I found was that in combination with the boss's attack, it absolutely destroys Gun, to the point where sometimes she might die. So in Kyostin's guide, his solution is to just place another defender once Gummy dies. My solution instead is to add a healing defender right beside Gummy that can heal Gummy herself. In this case, I'll use Spot, and I'm recommending this route instead of just, say, adding on another healer, is because with Spot, I can control exactly when to activate his skill to heal Gummy more. In the case of another healer, it's very inconsistent when they actually cast their healing spell, and sometimes that timing really messes up, and it does not make for a reliable auto deploy. Gummy's in the home stretch. You can retreat spot after his skill wears off, and you can retreat Silver Daddy as well. It's recommended that you retreat both of them as soon as you don't need them, so Ansel can focus their healing strictly on Gummy. So for the rest of this walkthrough, it's an exact copy of Kyostin V's guide, so please check out his video to understand which operators you're placing where, why, and when. And I'll make one last remark closest to the end of the walkthrough, when the boss is in phase 2. At phase 2 of the boss, I found that at very rare occasions, Gummy might unexpectedly die. 
use logic here, just replace Gummy with any other operator you have. You should have more than enough DP, and you're all good to go. Good luck, and have fun farming WD8. See y'all in the next one. Doctor, I'm going to